Fascinating to think that just half a year ago, all three of these chairs were occupied. I'm not here to exchange pleasantries, High Priest. I suppose you'll never forgive me for what I did. You know I wouldn't have sacked the city. You know I'm not a monster. Yet you ordered Durin to hold a knife to my son's throat. I didn't know. How could I? Who left you in charge of the city anyway? Where was Richard? Uh, Jarius gave me charge. Richard left a few days before you arrived. I know that, but where did he go? He didn't really specify, although I saw him riding south. Did he give a reason why? Yes, he said he didn't believe the allegations against you and your son, and rather it was some different force that killed Philip. I suppose that's what drove him out of the city. Well, I can think of many reasons why someone might have wanted to kill my brother. Indeed. The Arian seems suspicious. That's ridiculous. Elaine was Philip's daughter-in-law. That doesn't mean she had any love for him. Whatever the case, I am convinced that you and John took no part. My thanks. Oh, and also, you'll be coming to Black Cove with me. It wasn't just Ursia. That ship in the harbour was the only one that made it to three kings in one piece. That's one of the ships William sent. Aye, weren't you going to pick it up at Ursia? Well, we can pick it up from here. Shame the other one didn't make it. Good. It's interesting how all this trouble only started after we found that island. I mean, we've known about it for the past seven years. Well, according to Captain Johnson, they found some sort of ancient monument on the island. Strange thing is, supposedly that secret was hidden somewhere in those documents. The only problem was, no one was able to translate them. Except for that madman. But yeah, he was probably just looking for an excuse to begin mining there. Probably thought there was gold underground. I'm not so sure. The Masked Raiders are practically obsessed with the island. If Philip hadn't died so early, we might have been able to learn about these translated documents. I don't know if it's my place to suggest this, but I think there might be a connection. What do you mean? I mean, there's a possibility Philip and the Masked Raiders have a similar idea of what's on the island. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, pirates are never usually bold enough to take on a stronghold like Ursia. It's boosted their numbers and given them common purpose. Doesn't matter, they'll never attack three kings. How do you know that? Because I'm leaving more than a hundred men here. Axe has done the same thing at Kind City. Ursia fell because it was undermanned. Well, we'll be sure to take care when sailing to Red Rock. Aye, and I will too. I'll ask William about a few of these things when I get to Magidor. Brother, it is so good of you to join us. I'm not doing this for you. All the same, your help will be appreciated. Lord Morwen, your highness. Oh, uh, Morwen, we were just about to discuss a strategy for retaking Majador. I gather you haven't organised one yet. Well, perhaps we should start by making some new alliances. Oh yes, we were considering Akusia. Are you out of your mind, Lord Erridge? They're buried in our debt, and Lord Erwin's already declared for William. You're right. I'd suggest a Crabbery instead. Well, what? Science, Erridge. I like this plan. I'll send the letter myself. Pardon my interruption, but what should we do with our own armies? I'd suggest we march on Kragador. It's a good vantage point for us to defend the Jadelands. But Kragador's in ruins. Indeed it is, making us all the more discreet. Wayne will be aiming to attack us here, at Munadol, but he'll have to get through the Jadelands first. We should probably also cut supplies to Majdol. The easiest way of doing that would be to raid and pillage the heartlands. Sir Jarius Keir's captain of the Royal Army. Perhaps he and a few hundred men could undertake the task. Uh, I was thinking a few thousand. We should begin to press on Majdal. Your Highness, if I may be pardoned, why are you so intent on taking Majdal? Isn't your brother a captive there? 
Richard? No, apparently he fled the city just a few days before it was captured. Gods, we must make sure he isn't caught. Don't worry, Erridge. Jorais will be tasked with finding him as well. If only we still had John. Losing him was our biggest mistake. Careful, Morwen. Uh, well, I think we have most everything settled. Henry, do you have any idea where your brother might have gone? I'm sorry, but I fear that's impossible to know. Richard of Lightland, son of late King Philip, brother of King Henry, am I mistaken? Not at all, my lord. Please, call me Lethys, and how was your journey? Long. Long? Did you stop a lot? And who sent you? Not much, and I came here on my own accord. Fascinating. Well, you are very welcome here at Neritonus. Guards, escort Richard's horse away. We must talk inside. I was hoping to meet the king. Gary's. <laughs> it would have to be very interesting. I have a proposal. Ooh, I love proposals. I'm guessing you wish for us to join your brother in the war. That may be a little difficult, considering Lord Erwin has already declared for William. But we do also owe a significant amount of money to the Crown of Lightland. Perhaps we could make a deal? I doubt that'll be possible. Our kingdoms haven't been at war in over 45 years. King Gary's well admired your grandfather, you know. Although I'm not sure about convincing the others. <sighs> I tell you, they all have a privy as well. Anyway, I'll go and see if I can find any spare rooms. <sighs> uh, excuse me. My lord. Hmm? That's mine. What, this? Sorry, if you can... You can keep it if you want. It's yours. Leave me in peace. William, earlier today, I received a letter. It's from Akissia. Oh yes, may I read it? In the name of Arth. They killed everyone. Burnt it to the ground. God, if I haven't been so careless. It's not your fault, Erwin. But it is. I invested too much into marching north of you. Now King Gerys wants me to return. But you can't. We need you. Just send a couple hundred men back. You don't understand, William. These are my king's orders. I must return to Akissia. I'm your king. And what's more, you're my friend. I'm sorry. You're king of Lightland. I'm an Akissian. Sure, my mother was lightish, and you'll always be my friend, but I am an Akissian. Ursia is my home. The men that came with you from Ursia came to drive out an invader. Now, the invaders are on the run, and a new threat has wreaked chaos behind our backs. We must return home. God, why does it have to be so difficult? Listen, William, I'll send a letter back. I'll try and stay at Magidor as long as I can. Many's will take Black Cove with you, but I can't guarantee I'll be there to take Crackadol. That task may be for someone else. Thank you. You've been a better friend than I deserve. Take good care. You wish to see me, Father? I just wanted to wish you farewell before I left again. Well... Farewell. Catherine and I will take care of the city. John, you'll one day make a great king. Take good care. I always have John, and I always will. <laughs>